This video will give an overview of the expectations for completing the requirements for the Scouts BSA Electricity Merit Badge virtually. We'll be reviewing the requirements that are in the latest edition of the Electricity Merit Badge um, PDF, which is found on scouting.org. I just went and Googled for Electricity Merit Badge requirements. The first one that comes up uh, from scouting.org, you should be able to trust is the latest. And those are the requirements uh, that I will uh, be checking off for completion of the badge. In addition to the requirements, it looks like there's also a pamphlet available. If you just Google uh, Merit Badge pamphlet up here, and then there are several troops that have made the entire pamphlet available, which is very helpful for um, uh, having some of the explanations. I've got it right here. I'm showing it. And then also some of the uh, demonstrations for things that you're going to need to do uh, in order to complete the requirements. The um, merit badge will be completed by turning in two types of things. So requirements that can be typed up and requirements that should be demonstrated. So let me uh, summarize in the requirements here what I'm expecting. Um, the boxes in red here can be done by typing up the answers to them. And the answers you get are from either YouTube videos that you watch that I'm offering or just research in the pamphlet or on the internet. So that's all the ones in red. The ones in blue are the ones you actually have to do something for. And then you're either going to take a video for it or I'm happy to do a Zoom call if you'd like to talk through it and then demonstrate it that way. So either way, the blue ones have to be done by you uh, finding things around the house and purchasing something if needed. And then the red ones are going to be typed up. For the red ones that uh, are typed up, I highly recommend that uh, we do something like a Google Docs here. I'm showing an example from Programming Merit Badge just as an example, but you can see that for the ones that he had to type up, the red ones for you, um, he would take each requirement and then just write a very short answer to it to make sure that you understand it. So after you watch the video, you would type this up and these would be turned in for the red requirements. For the blue requirements, um, you can see that there's a few different types of ones. There's make a simple electromagnet. Number three can be done with uh, things around the house. Here is a WikiHow article uh, that you can Google for that you have uh, just very simple things that you hopefully have all around the house and you can make an electromagnet uh, and not have to buy anything hopefully. So that would take care of number three. Number 11 is you choose two of the following. So uh, I can say that uh, A and C can both be done uh, with something like this, uh, Snap Circuits Electronics Exploration Kit on Amazon. Uh, there's many other ways to do it though, I'm sure, but this is just one example. So you might have to purchase something, but again, I'm happy that if you've met the intent of the requirement with things that you happen to have around house, then that's great. And that satisfies what we're trying to do here. I, um, I recommend uh, as you go forward to complete a video that I've put online, say for the written requirements, I, I'm doing a video for number one uh, that they'll be listed down here in the bottom of the description on the YouTube link. And then type up the answers for that video and then contact me. Just uh, send me an email that says, hey, I finished one. Here's uh, what I typed up and I can provide any feedback. And then we can keep going that way, and that way I know you're still making progress on the merit badge, and I can help you in any way that I can. So I hope that answers your questions. Please contact me if needed. But that's the expectations for uh, completing Electricity Merit Badge uh, with me virtually for Scouts PSA.